this is first one question taken from permutation chapter and it's a based on factorial as you can see we have this lhs to be proved equal to this rhs things that you should keep in mind uh, in proving is that uh, we should uh, our steps should be guided by uh, what is there in the rhs to be proved and there in the lhs i can see that there is an r factorial in the denominator we have an r factorial on this part but uh, we don't have r factorial here uh, but you know that uh, this should you know that r factorial can be written as r multiplied by r minus one whole factorial so we already have r minus one whole factorial what in case if i multiply divide by r this will give us together as r factorial now same way i uh ne we need here n minus one plus n minus r plus one whole factorial we have this on this part of the sum on the lhs this part of lhs but not over here so what we can do we will same way i'm just writing first i can write n minus r plus one whole factorial can be written as n minus r plus one into n minus r whole factorial right so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to write this uh, multiply divide here with n minus r plus one and here also n minus r plus one. So if you do this, let's say what we will, we'll get this LHS as equal to RHS. So I'm doing the working here. What I'm doing here is uh, I'm writing this as n factorial into, as I said, I multiply divided by n minus r plus one. This is r factorial on the LHS, right? We are doing the LHS. And uh, this is uh, n minus r plus one that multiplied by n minus r whole factorial plus there's a r that into n factorial over r into r minus one whole factorial and then we have this as n minus r plus one whole factorial that's the lhs now what changes we can uh, do here this option. See, I've uh, colored some part of it. So first I can see that uh, I can take n factorial as common from the numerator. And uh, one thing we can do is uh, we, we will do that uh, taking common in the one step only. Let's proceed with what we have first. So let's, uh, uh, LHS being continued here. The numerator is n factorial. This is n minus r plus one whole factorial n minus one plus r only now this r factorial copied here and this part as i said this part uh, it can be written as n minus r plus one whole factorial continuing with this we have this numerated as r into one into n sorry this is uh, r dot n factorial in the denominator this can be written as r factorial and rest is copied here, that is n minus r plus one, the whole factorial. Now we'll take a common, what is coming common here, as I can see, we have uh, in the numerator part, we have n factorial as common in the denominator, it's all same. So there's no need to take common, we can straight away take LCM here. So what in case if we take LCM, we'll have r factorial into n minus r plus one whole factorial. And uh, if I take n factorial as common, we'll get n minus r plus one and that multiplied by that is plus r, right? So I just took LCM here. And as I can see this uh, minus r and plus r get canceled. So in the next step, what we are getting we are getting n plus one, right? That multiplied by n factorial in the numerator part. Denominated part will remain undisturbed as this is what we have already got as the part of RHS. Now, as what you can see here, what we can do with this, I can write this as n into n <clears throat> plus one into n factorial, right? N, n plus one. As, I, as you know that n plus one whole factorial is n plus one 
into n factorial. So applying the same thing in the reverse order, we'll get this numerator as n plus one whole factorial. And the denominator we have already obtained, so we'll keep it as it is. And that is equal to the RHS. This is how this question can be done.